What's up guys and so it begins. Samsung is bringing some huge changes to the Galaxy S22 lineup but we also have some big surprises for the next Galaxy A series. In order to be the best and offer something that no other brand is offering, Samsung has officially joined the Team Red and for the very first time they're bringing the AMD bloodline to their Galaxy devices. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get right into it. The next Galaxy A series in 2022 could be incredibly powerful thanks to the AMD graphics. The AMD RDNA-based Exynos processor will come to entire Galaxy A lineup. Apparently, Samsung will have multiple configuration of the AMD GPU depending on the model and the series, so it can go from 2CU to 4CU and maxing out at 6CU for the Galaxy S22 lineup. This is actually the GPU clock speed, so we have 1 GHz, 1.4, all the way up to 1.84 GHz for the 6CU configuration. And I gotta say, if Samsung actually pulls this off, it's going to be absolutely amazing. If you look at the current Galaxy A series, the A52 and the A72, the weakest point in my opinion is definitely the processor, so this is much needed and apparently these new Exynos AMD chip for mid-rangers will be using the Cortex A78 architecture, hence there won't be any thermal throttling issues. Imagine having crazy gaming performance on Galaxy A series phones and this is something that will definitely going to set Samsung apart from the competition. Now for the Galaxy S22 series, we have good news as well regarding the performance. So based on the very latest testing, the heat situation is a lot more under control. According to the leak, we have much better numbers in the peak stage. And just for reference, the AMD processor can go all the way up to 40 frames per second in its peak stage when benchmarking on Aztec High, uh, which is something that the Exynos 2100 cannot do. It can't even go beyond 30 FPS, so 40 FPS on AMD chip without throttling, it's actually a big, big difference. Now, this is very important. Not all Galaxy S22 models will get Exynos 2200 processor. According to the info coming from the source, which is actually not finally decided, currently it is expected that the North America will get Snapdragon processor. But strangely, the US carrier Ryzen is asking for Exynos to be installed on their models. So because of the AMD hype, they're probably asking Samsung for this particular model. Now, source further says that Korea Hong Kong and China could utilize Snapdragon processor, uh, whereas China Telecom is again in negotiation for the Exynos model. So uh, this is again a little bit weird that these telecommunication services are asking for the Exynos model exclusively. Another weird thing is that Southeast Asia and India could also get Snapdragon chip, which is, uh, like I said, weird because we usually get Exynos processor. Now all of this could be because of the production yield issues that Samsung is currently facing for the Exynos 2200. Now, as the source mentioned that nothing has been finalized, they're still taking decisions and we're still a month away from the mass production of the S22 lineup, so uh, we'll eventually see what markets will get Snapdragon and what markets will get the Exynos 2200 processor. Now, last but not the least, one of the big things Samsung did this year was bringing optical image stabilization to its Galaxy A series. We've seen it with Galaxy A52, A72, and recently with Samsung's super budget phone, the Galaxy A22. And now, according to South Korean media, next year Samsung will bring optical image stabilization on all Galaxy A series phone. This is actually huge news because a lot of brands actually skip on this feature in order to save cost and in my opinion it's one of the most important features for a phone to have for better stabilization in videos, photos and especially for the night mode. We all know that Samsung probably have big plans for next year's Galaxy Z series and we still don't know what's gonna happen with the Note series but one thing is sure that the traditional Samsung phones, the Galaxy A series, the Galaxy Galaxy S series, they're about to get some serious AMD performance boost. That's all for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.